Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 10th episode of Dumbbell Non Kilo Motor. And last episode, we got a pretty big, big important person show up to say hi to Machio. Basically, led us to having a fun muscle poses competition. And he wanted Machio to go with him, but Machio's got stuff to do here, so he didn't. So that's basically what that episode. So let's get into this one and see what muscle bulk shenanigans we have. So. Three, two, one, play. Karakawa. Automation. Anime, okay. Of course, we start off with Hibiki eating food. All is right with the world. And already? I thought we were, like, barely in September. Yeah, let's get a room, all you normies. But they never lifted a dumbbell in their life. Yeah, definitely Christmas time, no doubt about that. <laughs> oh yeah, he became wanted a boyfriend, didn't she? Well, I think... <laughs> well, none of them have one, but... I think he was the only one that was vocal about wanting one. Oof. I always say yes to muscle. I just love seeing how much Sensei is just struggling to run along the other younger characters. We'll get that bikini body one day, Hippiki. He's gotta keep it up. I think we've met everyone in this opening at this point, right? Okay, do you like Christmas? It's alright, I guess. It's very sad eating there. Yeah, what more do you need? You don't need no boyfriend or anything to have fun. The what? Adult doldr what did she say? Well yeah, that solves literally everything. Well, as long as they have a lot of muscle. <laughs> well then, I guess that's that. Yeah, maybe, maybe someday. Yeah, Sensei, what about you? <laughs> what a shocker. <laughs> They're all feeling bad now. Keep it up, Sensei. <laughs> of course you are. I should hope so. I'm sure it will be fun. Well, yeah, but it'd be better if you were there. It would improve the party. Super thick. Well, that got their attention. Yeah, I think I think we're on board now. Uh, Sensei especially looks pretty excited over there. No oh, talk of the mouthful, Hibiki. Oh, oh yeah, I guess she is a little bit chunkier. Maybe that bikini body is further off than I thought. What did I do wrong? She says as she drops food. 
Raise it. No, no, it's everyone else's fault. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm not trying to fix that. But Machio might. Yeah, why not? Triceps need some need some attention as well. Of course. Okay. Is there a ghost over there? Why is there a ghost over there? Very distracted. Uh, do we have to? It sounds kind of scary. But, uh, you know. Okay, so Akami is doing it this time. Or Ayaka, whatever. James. Just don't crush your skull by accident. Seriously, that's a really terrifying name to give it. It's also important not to crush your skull as you do it. Okay. Easy bar. I still don't know about that name. Oh. I uh, want to crush something right now. He be just intense, intently, intensely watching. That's what she said. Yeah, she really wanted her turn, I guess. Yeah, get a nice grip on it. He might actually crush his skull. Like, uh, that! Oh, saw that coming a mile away, but still. She took the name too literally, that's why we don't call it that, Machio. Give it a better name. <laughs> yeah, that's the real takeaway from that. Don't actually crush your skull. The misleading name, she's not to blame. Yeah, it could've been worse. They got a crushed skull. I have a broken body at this rate. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a guess and say none of you. They can be serious all they want, but it doesn't necessarily make it mean it will happen. <laughs> well, that's actually pretty cute with this the Christmas Santa hat on. Oh, hi, because a reindeer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think it's fine. I'm getting Gabriel dropped out flashbacks. I think it can they got the best outfit here. What's what is Gina wearing? Uh <laughs> Yeah, that that was my first guess. Uh how disappointing. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, sensei? Is that a, is that you? Uh, <laughs> dead or dead? Is this supposed to be a dead or alive reference? Or something? I don't know. <laughs> That's a great outfit, Sensei. I approve. I should get plenty of attention. Well, the guy's spotted. Yeah, which makes sense. <laughs> Gotta love having a Russian line in a Japanese anime that then has an English translation next to it.
Are you distracted? Okay, uh, Ayaka seems to be ready. Okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> uh, just drinking milk. Why wouldn't you be? Uh... <laughs> how many anime loving macho guys are here out of curiosity? <laughs> yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, it's pretty cute, though. So, I mean, Sensei especially, that's a little bit odd, that kind of behavior. Ooh, the raffle. What are we going to win? And how long will it take you to rip that nice suit off of your body? It could completely ruin it. Did you lose your ticket? Okay. Hopefully we get something good. BBQ said hope that she doesn't win food. Oh wow, Destiny Land. That's the good stuff. It's just really one really single mind of this episode, aren't we? Bunch of thirsty girls. And there you go. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. 81. 44. 3. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for 56. Yeah, no surprise. I'm surprised that you can do that piece by piece like that. Sure, yeah, pose training. Sounds legit. <laughs> We're seriously going to going into this. <laughs> this is certainly interesting. Okay. Why do we have to use a guy for this one? Just weird how this could be a type of training, but he's explaining it, so it is. I think I would just embarrass myself if I try to do those muscly poses. The TDL for short. And the chest is a funnel one, right? Who will win? I mean, I don't even know who's what number, so. 35. Akemi? Was that you, Akemi? Uh, I think she might have won. Yeah, it's really not surprising you don't win. I hope you do have a better chance if you're a main character. Oh, she won. Okay. What was with that Akemi reaction? <laughs> yeah, she's a real winner here, I guess. I guess you just knew Sensei won, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there goes the clothes. <laughs> Too bad Sensei couldn't have followed suit. But we had fun. Sort of. Well, it's not the biggest shocker in the world. But I guess that was supposed to be a plot twist. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, that's that's un that's unfortunate. Well, got to use them. Um... <laughs> yeah, nice save there, Sensei. Yeah. 
Oh? You gonna go? With someone? Yeah, the guys are many muscles there. Uh ask who and this Really? I I mean I guess it makes sense. They all kinda like Bajio, I guess. Tochigi Destiny Land. Really? But it's the best place on earth. <laughs> oh well. Might as well just went then if we were gonna do this. Yeah, this definitely looks like a date. <laughs> uh, wow, that's <laughs> that's a really weird sense out of context. That's yeah, this <laughs> usually it's kind of the opposite. Okay. California makes sense. In Hong Kong, <laughs> kind of yeah, Hong Kong. Yeah, but I guess I guess not. <laughs> Definitely some possible copyright issues here. Yeah, an excuse to wear that I'm okay with. <laughs> uh, I guess you do stand out less with a bunch of high schoolers if you look like one. <laughs> oh wow. Uh... <laughs> oh, Maki. Not a great mascot. Meanwhile, they're having fun on their dates, I guess. Uh, what are you referring to over Machi, Machio, Machi, whatever, whatever your name was. Okay, they're going somewhere together. Not a love hotel, is it? It doesn't look like one. <laughs> anime, we already established that. I've heard Ibiki in anime as well, so. So, we might want to get in there quickly before the clothes comes off, if it's what we think it is, which it's probably probably not, but still want to hurry regardless. <laughs> Everything is temporary. Uh, what did we just walk in on? Oh, so we're apparently cosplaying here. Uh, okay, a special event. Cool. What is Machio exactly? Hercules or something? Well, Sensei does. You knew he'd want to cosplay? Yeah. We know what she wanted out of this. And yeah, I came looks pretty cute in that as well. I know we're not focusing on that at all with the app with the scene, but it's worth mentioning. Okay, I don't Uh, you're not wrong, uh, Kami, but why did you have to look like you jumped out of a horror movie? That's my question. So, Kami, you want to try doing that too? Okay. 
Never would have guessed. I'm sure he'll ex he'll, he'll, ex he'll explain. Middle part of your upper chest. Very important to targets. <laughs> Very important to targets. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's a that's an angle. Yeah, don't forget. Yeah, I would rather Akimi have done that part. Uh, they lost high school. Grav, grav red, sensei. I can never say that word. <laughs> uh, just sounds a little bit sad about seeing an older woman in a high school uniform running around. Oh, okay. This is unexpected. This is very unexpected. Uh, uh, this is awkward. I guess. I guess we're just gonna pretend we never, we never, this never happened. <laughs> okay. It's definitely quite a meeting. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, definitely not expect this hurt to be another teacher. I mean, that's possible, but another teacher in a high school uniform. That was unexpected. That was a great way to end it off. That was the best way to end it off. <laughs> that's, that's great. Uh, Grabia, the Grabia, that's how it's pronounced. I want to look that up. Sensei who always wears masks. So what will we do in the end? Posing. Okay. I'll do my best. But I can't really pose in this position, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've reached my limits. <laughs> the classic pose, side chest. Pretty good pose, though. It is a very good pose. As most of these poses go, it's better when the girls do it. <laughs> That's a pretty good pose, too. That pose almost makes you think you're about to do some pelvic thrusts. Nice book. Even had Maki over there, but... Yeah. That was the 10th episode of Dumbbell Nan Kilo Motaru. And this episode, we had a Christmas-themed episode, you know, Christmas party at the Silverman Gym, which they, our main girls, weren't too interested in that until they mentioned there would be, you know, college guys there that they don't normally see because they go at different times than them. So they were kind of hoping they would get some guys there that were not, you know, the big macho freaks or whatever. Of course, they would eventually be disappointed on that, but... That's what got them excited about it, because they basically all of them apparently want a boyfriend. I don't know why. 
really. But uh, I mean, you got you got dumbbells. What more do you need out of life, really? But it's uh, it's what they're after. You know, Sensei definitely she was pretty gung ho for a lot of this. And then we went to the party, and we all wore costumes. Got some reindeer, Santa costumes, uh, whatever whatever Gina was. Uh, yeah, I think one of the guys was a ranger too. But anyway, yeah, they basically were able to mingle with the guys to an extent. You know, say, hey, yo, what's up? You go to this gym too? Which, you know, most of them would, would do. And they seemed to have fun with that for the most part, but nothing really advanced from it. Like, I don't think any numbers were given or gotten or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't think anything really... Nobody really got any closer to having a boyfriend there. We had, we had a raffle, though, which was fun. Uh, well, I mean... It was interesting because couldn't just do it in a normal way. No, no, no. Machio's got to pose as a way to reveal the numbers, which, yeah, that's that's definitely an attention-grabbing method. Can't, can't argue with that. So, uh, yeah, just... The only one of our people won. I thought Kenny won at first because of her reaction, but no, I guess... I, I guess it was just she knew Sensei won, and nobody else... Was paying that much attention? I guess that's what it must have been. I can't think of anything else why that scene was done the way it was. But yeah, Sensei One didn't actually use the tickets though, gave them to Akemi because she didn't have time to go there and then she just stalked them later, you know, so it was all kind of a kind of pointless. But anyway, back to the back to the party that's not over yet. Before the party could end, we did have a big reveal that the guys there, because they were posing with, you know, Sensei. They all just did the classic all clothes tearing off pose, which revealed that they were all, you know, macho men similar to similar to Machio, and that was a bit of a bit of a downer. But it's not like it's a big deal breaker or anything, or it shouldn't be, but for them I guess it is. And uh, more to the point, they're all like, you know, Ryuju, you know, we got families, wife, you know, all that stuff, so yeah, I couldn't really couldn't really do much with that, I guess, so it just the, the whole operation to get a boyfriend was a just giant failure, I think is the main takeaway from that. Which is how it's meant to be, you know? Can't have things taking time away from going to the gym and working out after all. Hey, they really did look pretty good in their costumes. I don't think I've actually mentioned that, but they did look very good in their costumes. Sensei especially had a very eye catching costume, which is expected of our cosplayer. Definitely expected of a cosplayer. That's not even technically the only time she cosplayed in the episode. Because we, because on the Disney, the not the Destiny, the Destiny Land trip, she dressed up like a high school girl because she's around high school girls, and that makes her blend in. <laughs> That's her excuse anyway. So I kind of missed that, that one part a little bit. Uh, I want to go back to what was said in this one part. Uh, okay, yeah, the freaking Maki mascot because it's clearly a Disneyland parody here. Yeah, she says, Sensei, why'd you take the trouble to wear a uniform? She says, best place to hide a tree is in the forest, which is very true. And then she strikes that pose, which is great. Okay, there's a po okay, so this is the part I think I missed. There's a popular campaign to enjoy TDL in a school uniform right now. So that, yeah, that makes more sense now with the other teachers showing up. So that definitely makes more sense now. If we're going to tail those two, then I'd better fit in with the high school crowd. Yeah, the second line I got, it's not that first one. I was too busy focusing on the pose. But here we go. Yeah, this is a big thing as well. Want an excuse to cosplay. That's really what it came down to. But your sensei friend probably also was probably also thinking. So just kind of love her doing that pose wearing a high school uniform at her age. It's all pretty funny. And then this line was great. You kind of look like some failed AVs underground idol. Just, just really savage stuff here. I've seen those kind of videos all over Akihabara. And then Maki just, just likes it. But yeah, just that was a very fun little scene there. And then it's a little bit of here when they notice notice Machio and uh, Akimi go in there in this suspicious tent, as she calls it. And she mentioned Ibiki, which was translated as Trist, and... And then, you know, Hibiki uh, comments on her knowing the word, but like I said, she, she said before that she learned learned Japanese from anime. And when you do that, you're going to learn a lot of words that probably aren't necessarily part of day-to-day -day conversation, but would be a part of some kind of drama, you know, plot or whatever, so. So yeah, it's no, she's not surprised anyone that she knows that. I'm sure she has a lot of fun words, honestly. And that, that can make me terrifying sometimes. 
But the reveal was just that, yeah, they wanted to cosplay together, so... Yeah, of course there's never going to be anything too, too, too shocking in there. Akemi has a very simple motivation. She wants to see big muscular people's muscles, and that just kind of helped with that. Gotta love our ED there. Oh, after the ED, the stinger, where they all do their posing. But still, it was... It's still amazing how they ran into each other, the two teachers, and both in their high school uniform. That was just, just amazing. Even though I know now the reason why that why this coincidence happened. Well, I know the why it was less of a shocking coincidence than I initially thought. It's still pretty funny, still pretty pretty crazy coincidence, even with that context. It's just just I can only imagine what was going through both of their heads, like neither of them wanted that to happen. Both of them want that to just disappear from existence, but they'll know forever. They'll never forget that. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really got to say on the episode. It was pretty good. I have, I have, you know, for the most part. I, of course, can't really get behind their boyfriend acquisition motivation at all. So that part was a bit eh. But aside from that, it was a very, very solid episode. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.